Hello there, I'm RhinoGT4, and welcome back to the ETCC. It is time for round number five of the championship. We're going to Lime Rock Park for this round, doing the full alternate uh, course layout with both of the chicanes. And this time we have uh, our biggest field yet here in the ETCC. We have 16 cars running here with some new entrance as well as some returning after missing race two at Sebring or rounds three and four at Sebring so uh, without further ado we have 17 laps to do here at Lime Rock so let's go I'm starting in eighth position and off the line we go I get a really good launch and immediately move to the inside of the pink tier of Harry 5k as we head into turn one we all storm into turn one lots of contact happening up in front Car's going sideways, but everybody's staying on the course and having staying relatively clean, other than you you know. But keeping the fenders on it. As I try to saw my way through the field from eighth, but doesn't exactly work. And here I'm just kinda boxed in, hoping for the best. Maybe make a move here on newcomer prod I believe that was prod EKR. As we have prod four to four AMG slide down dive down the inside everything is happening here in the first chicane I hit the inside tire wall Muller hit the outside tire wall and it just caused a huge huge mess of cars everywhere no one could go anywhere and just just a just a huge mess we had to check the second chicane move up to an 11th almost hit the back of a meal have to do evasive action which completely compromised my uh, my corner speed and everything and also a few positions as I've, I've been shuffled back to 12th so not the greatest lap one for me unfortunately um yeah that that yeah that first lap was quite the mess not just for me but for pretty much everybody unfortunately I was a big loser Unfor but unfortunately for Pender he's not able to stay in front of me for long as he goes wide and into the main apex of turn one which gives me a free position, and then we have some contact, possibly it looks like a lag bump from the 76 of Racing Hard GT into the Pinketeer. Pinketeer goes very wide, I'm not exactly sure what happened there, but I believe it was some lag contact, so that helps me move back up into 7th position. And some other cars were having some issues as well. But I had a pretty bad run here through the first chicane, had it Racing Hard all over back of my car, but I'm able to pull a slight gap into the west chicane. So we dive down the hill into the final turn, complete lap number two. As I continue to work my way through the field, we have somebody pitting from the front due to damage. I believe it was prod no it was not, 44 MG. I believe that might have been DJ Yuyuko, I'm not sure. It was a black car, couldn't see him for sure. As I so Racing Heart goes for another move on me. It goes around the outside. We make contact here exiting turn one, but we stay door to door. Because we take different lines through turn two, and I'm able to barely clear Racing Heart and hang on to the now seventh position. As Emil and Muller race hard for sixth for pit, fifth position the fifth spot just from me. They have some issues into the first chicane trying to fit two cars into one little spot didn't exactly work. Miller got pushed into the tires. Emil lost a ton of momentum and that helped me move in front of them both into fifth position. So we have a huge train of cars heading through the uh, chicane. The west chicane. As Emil tries to recover. We have Azza over in the infield already out of the race unfortunately. After some issues at the start of the race. There is there is a lot. The start of the race was a big mess let me tell you. But here we go, beginning lap number four, Let's head into turn one. As you see, um, clear track in front of me. Top four have kind of pulled away quite a bit. We have a newcomer prod EKR and also a new uh, manufacturer entry in the Honda. We have Invisible AK leading the race, trying to go for three straight wins. We have prod four AMG, or prod four is four AMG in second, and we have Pix Bunny here in third place, who has actually suffered some rear end damage to his car from the start of this race, but is running in third. And the new livery, unfortunately, no candy theme with his livery. Just turn to me. As I try to close the gap to the cars in front, we have uh, 
as well as pull away from the cars behind, and I'm actually doing a fairly decent job at it. As I go through the final chicane, complete lap number four. I see the cars in front of me, and I hope I can maybe close on them, but wasn't really sure. I wasn't, I wasn't really sure how well I would do going into this race, because it seemed like I was struggling a lot through practice sessions here, but... Turned out to work out fairly well for me, at least so far. I'm up to fifth place after an abysmal start. So we uh, joined this battle for seventh position here between Emil and Afternoon Seven as Racing Heart goes a little wide in turn one. And ooh, Seven sticking his nose underneath into turn two, going with the deep line, taking trying to take the inside, but it's not able to clear Emil. As they go race hard through the next turn. Oh, they make contact, and Seven ends up into the spun around into the wall. Oh, how unfortunate. Seven just cannot catch a break here in the ETCC after what happened at Sebring last week. Unfortunately, that moves him all the way down to ninth position. He may also have some mechanical damage, unfortunately, for him. As there is just a little bit of miscommunication there as far as where the cars were on the track. So now in 10th place for our final points position we have a very epic battle between DGA Yuyuko and Boost and Ethanol for 10th place. Oh, as they make contact through the West Chicane. Once again, two cars trying to fit into one spot doesn't exactly work. And now we have a huge freight train of cars here trying to all fighting to pick up that last point. As we, uh, I believe move on to lap number 6 here. I've honestly lost track already because we're so there's so many laps. So Yuko holding on to tenth place with some hard chargers behind him, trying to pick up that final point. As we rejoin myself in fifth place, still uh kinda out of my lonesome a little bit. Trying to catch up to maybe hopefully catch up to Prod EKR. It wasn't really uh he was lurking a little bit in front of me, but I was slightly closing the gap, if at all, on him. Seeing if I can maybe catch him, maybe. So I go sliding around the last turn. He's definitely fighting for grip a lot around here. In my BMW, as the pink tear of Harry moves, exits the pits after sustaining some damage. Had a quite a few pit stops during this race due to damage, unfortunately. So bit of a high attrition right here but that's honestly to be expected because of how uh, tight this track can be especially with the chicanes so move on down the track oh and EKR brought EKR makes a mistake into the first chicane hitting the tire wall allowing me to just sneak past him for fourth position just barely sneak past him And this would become a hot race for the rest of the race between myself and EKR. BMW versus Honda. So, pretty good debut for both EKR and the Honda as well here in the ETCC. It's become complete lap number seven. And move on to lap eight. Head into turn one. And. Trying my best here to hold on to fourth position to remain uh, with the title of best of the rest, basically. As the podium guys are just completely out of reach of myself. But up front, we have a pretty intense battle for the lead here between Invisible AK and Prod 404 AMG. So, EKR is not the only Prod member to uh, be in a very, very hot battle. This is an intense battle for the lead as a Head off the final turn to complete lap number seven. But here is where AK should have the advantage in his Scirocco with that straight line speed. Great straight line speed of the Scirocco. As AMG tries to make a move around the outside for the lead in turn one. Oh, they make contact. AK runs a little wide on the exit. They make contact and that allows AMG to get recover quickly and get the lead just barely around turn two. My goodness, what an exciting run. An exciting fight for the lead, but we're not over yet as AK is all 
over the back of AMG heading into the South Chicane. Where's the South Chicane? It's all over the place. As they head into the West Chicane now. Still nose to tail as, ooh, AK Street lands the Chicane a little bit. Gotta be careful of that. Stewards won't uh, tolerate much of that. They come, ooh, running wide again off the final turn. Compromises his speed a little bit, but he's got the Scirocco, so speed compromise isn't, doesn't last too long. Unfortunately, the straightaways here at Lime Rock are not long enough for the uh, Volkswagen drivers to fully take the advantage of their superior straight line speed as we enter lap number eight, nine. I believe we're at lap number nine here, I was 17. Once again, AK trying very hard to keep up with AMG, it's using every inch of the track and then some to hopefully keep up. It's not able to do so though. See, so uh, moves right along as AMG has to deal with some back markers here. First, the uh, Mazda of DJ Yuyuko now catching up to the Pojo of H, of H Pender. Now, so that's another thing with running on a short track here with the, an even larger field is we do have back markers to deal with for the leaders. So he heads on to lap number 10. Pender goes extremely wide into turn one to yield to the leader. And Invisible AK gives the chase. So let's go back a little further through the field. We join Pixbunny in third place, who is kind of out on his lonesome. Just a comfortable third place. For me, things aren't so comfortable as I continue battling with Prod EKR, who is right on my ass. Racing hard for fourth position here. Ooh, almost making contact. We take two different uh, lines into turn two. Go for a slower entry as he goes for a faster entry, harder entry into the turn. Into the south chicane. This is a very, very easy ch chicane to get wrong, not only because of the tires everywhere, but just getting the, a bad line through there will cost you a ton of time. As so we head into the west chicane. This is where my car is at its uh, most unstable because of the low speeds and lower gear, which admittedly I probably should have stayed in third gear through that chicane, even though, but I kept dropping to second gear and just lighting up the rear tires due to uh, too much throttle input. So we head on to lap number 12, I believe we're at now. I, I, I don't know anymore. Still fighting hard for fourth place. Gained a little bit of a gap on EKR here. That last lap. EKR might be struggling ever so slightly in his Honda to keep up. Got tires littered everywhere from previous incidents in this race. Through Chicane. Tell you what, we got some great shots here around Lime Rock. Not all great, but some pretty good ones. As I lock up front brakes into the West Chicane. And have a pretty bad run through there, allowing EKR to close the gap. Once again, as this battle rage is on. So take a uh, little bit of defensive line to break off the slipstream. We have another car in the pit lane. Undergoing repairs as we head into turn number one. EKR looked to the outside, but decided to stay in line for this lap. As our uh, as our battle quickly turned into a battle for third, because it looks like Invisible AK has had some kind of mechanical issue and has dropped out of the race. Yes, Invisible AK is out of the race. You'll get credit for 16th place and, importantly, no points. So this battle for fourth has quickly turned into a battle for the fight on podium spot. And here comes EKR around the outside into the West Chicane. Will he be able to hold the position? I have to let it, I have to yield a little bit to let him go. And just like that, back into fourth place I go. And 
Prod EKR takes a third position as he goes very wide around the last turn, but is able to keep his momentum going in his Honda. As we approach, I believe, four or three laps to go. I Once again, I've lost track of how many laps we're on now. Take like a nice tight line. I'm pushing very hard to try to maybe go for some kind of move to gain the podium. Grab my second podium of the season in five races. Be really nice as we approach back markers of DJ Yuko tossing up a tire into the air because why not? Oh, big lock club from Yuko into the first chicane. Very, very, very tight between the three of us, but able to make the overtake without any issues. We head to the West Chicane. Yuko lighting them up yet again behind us. So we close in on the Pojo Pender. And Pender runs, tries to run wide in turn four. Oh, and we have massive contact between... Oh, dear. We have massive contact between EKR and Pender. I think EKR might have thought Pender was going elsewhere on the exit of the turn and was not able to avoid him. I went wide to try to avoid him, but it turns out those single, uh, single layer tires on the ground are uh, solid objects. So, yeah, they kind of hooked me and... Um, well, any chance I had at uh, passing EKR through that accident and claiming a podium, it just went away. So instead, I have to give chase yet again. It's thankfully, no damage to my car through that very uh, crazy accident. Pender just being in the wrong place at the wrong time, unfortunately. But he tried to get out of the way. Unfortunately, uh... A little miscommunication from each of them. What that wreck has done is helped Emil catch up in the background, the real Emil, and uh, maybe give Emil a chance to uh, insert himself into this battle for the podium spot. So we fly our cars around the final turn, taking uh, about two laps to go, I believe, now. EKR starting to pull ever so slightly away from me. I'm trying my hardest to uh, reel him in. Stay nice and smooth. Let's go a little further back through the field, see if there's any crazy battles going on here. Well, we got a battle for fifth position, as we have the... Uh, looks like we have another retired car that has uh, glitched on the track here in the replay, but... Oh well, we got Racing Heart and Emil racing hard for 5th position. As Emil goes to uh, overtake Pender, and there's Invisible AK's uh, invisible car. Unfortunately had to retire from the race due to issues. Connection issues, but yeah. This battle for 5th rages on now, Pender holding up Emil, giving Racing Heart enough time to catch up to the back of that Ford. And now the fight is on for the final top five position. No detail, not, can't even fit a piece of paper in between those two cars. They are so close to each other around the final turn. As they push hard across the line. Heading into, I believe this is the final lap of the race, possibly. Oh, big inside dive from Racing Heart. Going for it. Oh, they make a little contact. And Emil tries to squeeze him through down on the bottom. Might work out for him. Let's see around turn two. Oh, Emil has to slow down more for the ape main apex of the turn in racing art. And they still hold on door to door as Emil is able to get a run around third turn three and hold on to position as Pender tosses some more tires around on the exit in the background. Oh boy, that was that was a mighty battle. That was a mighty, mighty battle. So we head into the West Chicane here. I have caught up to EKR here. And M still fighting hard for third place so we head around the final turn can't remember if this is the final lap or not I guess we'll find out here once across the line do the drive tars take over we're still racing hard uh, it's like the drive tars are taking over so that was the finish of the race right there across the line I take fourth place just behind just just behind uh prod EKR so don't quite get that second podium. Emil manages to hold off uh, Racing Heart for fourth place. And to get that final point, 
Looks like DJ Yuko is going to pick it up. As Pinder is too far behind to do anything about that. So, my goodness, what a crazy, crazy race. And so, with an insane race 5 out of the way, let's take a look at the results real quick. So, Prod Forza 4 AMG takes a very dominant victory. 17 seconds over second place picks Bunny. Prod EKR in his debut finishes on the podium just in front of myself. Emil finishes in the top 5 yet again. Racing Heart GT 6th place. Muller finishes 7th. Afternoon 7th, 8th. Boost and Ethanol picks up a good 9th uh, position. And DJ Yuko rounds out the points. Finish points paying positions in 10th and here are the rest of the results unfortunate for invisible AK with the DNF at the end due to connection problems and that also translates to um, unfortunate in the points for invisible AK as uh, all that work he did at Sebring with the double it's pretty much gone now as prod 4 4 AMG now has a 7 point lead over Pix Bunny I just barely pass AK for third, 28 points behind. A 4 is a 4, and Emil rounds out the top 5 with 54 points. So that will do it for race number 5. Tune in tomorrow for race 6 here at Lime Rock Park, where there will be a mandatory pit stop and a whole lot more crazy action. You won't want to miss it. <laughs>